Hi all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a sci-fi building for a settlement that I'm making for my next battle report. So without further ado, I would say follow me to the crafting table. One quick note though, make a bunch of them, because the more you have the better. Alright, let's do this guys. So I used some boxes of an old PlayStation controller. They had an interesting shape that kind of reminded me of a sci-fi building, so I decided to glue these together. As you can see here. Next I'm taking a small water gun and I'm sawing off the handle and the part that covers the trigger. And with it having it, it's a perfect fit to match the side of the building, as you will see in a second keep the parts you saw off, keep them, because you never know when you're going to use them. See? It fits perfectly. Well, as luck would, would have it. Now I'm taking some cardstock and I'm going to cover the top piece, the roof. Just mark where, also mark here where you want the industrial thing to be. Just hot glue it on. This is some drywall uh, mesh tape. I like the texture of it to represent some iron floor, some gridded floor. Just tape this down and cuts really easily. There you go. This is something I made before with some uh, bubblegum plastic and some plastics I had about and I didn't know what I was making but I put it aside but well I found it again and I was thinking hey this might well uh, fit on top of my sci-fi building so why not use it as some kind of generator Just hot glue that in place next up I'm taking some foam some foam board to uh, make some cover piece some uh, some roof piece on top that's about two centimeters in height just uh, measure it out two centimeters and then measure with the top of the roof of the building and then hot glue that into position as you will see me do here again this is a speed build so I'm not really uh, taking my time with it I'm just slapping things on because I need a lot of buildings and I don't have much time if I want to finish my battle report come this weekend so yeah and I didn't have any sci-fi buildings here you can see me use the trigger of the water gun as some kind of smokestack or whatever so I just glued it into place because it looked cool and covering up the sides here again this is a speed build not going for a clean look but I'm going for a uh, fastness here just wanted to get some terrain on the table I still have about five buildings to go the some of the pieces as you can see here I'm just gluing some uh, paper drinking straw against it to mark it off Cutting off the excess cardstock here, that it's a little bit flush. Here, this is one of those tops of those coffee cups from the Dolce Gusto machine. The, one of those coffee caps it makes for perfect ventilations. You saw me using them in uh, the ruins building I did a little bit earlier. Perfect ventilation system. And now I'm making a door. Well, actually not yet. I'm making a, a barrier that covers where the door is going to be. Just cut it to an interesting shape that you like and make a yeah, door the way you want to. I'm using some EVA foam, which I will use as a, the door frame. But first I'm making the door, that, which is 5 centimeters in length, 6 meters in height. Decided to cut off uh, more of a <coughs> some, yeah, some shape that I wanted to make for the door. Some sci-fi shape. 
this will be the door frame so when you uh, make the put the template on make sure you have enough of sp a lot of space on both enough space on both sides as you see here clean the workstation because I'm a messy crafter <laughs> and glue that into position with some white glue and the frame on top of it I'm gonna cover up uh, the sides as well it's also with some EVA foam keep the piece from the, the door frame and we're gonna use that as a well as the back door some white glue on it fix it into position now I'm going to uh, glue some shapes to the side of the building just take whatever you want whatever you have feel whatever makes you happy just glue it onto the building whatever you decide that would look nice stick it on <laughs> have fun with it guys as I am using some of these uh, whatever they are called I don't know I'm just super gluing it on now I'm taking some sprue making that look like some kind of connector between the door and the industrial water gun thingy it doesn't have to make sense it just has to look cool <laughs> that's my opinion some more details on the side of the building again speed build not going for beauty here just going for practicality I needed a building and I needed many buildings so I'm hurrying this along so this is not one of my best crafts I'm gonna be honest about that but well once I get a bunch of them and fill up a table it will look good enough also in this video um, I did not show how I painted it um, so I'm gonna start by telling you what I did I took it outside spray painted it flat black then oversprayed it with a gray primer and then oversprayed it again from above with white and make sure I covered a lot of it because I wanted a white building so yeah that's what I did then uh, I also painted some colors on it uh, as you will see later on and then gave the entire thing a black wash with some uh, homemade wash which I made from some water uh, black paints and a little bit of uh, this dish soap okay jumping ahead in uh, time here but also uh, here I'm gluing on um, a hatch something to cover the sides with some corrugated cardboard or paper corrugated paper actually some tin sheets there very handy to use in all kinds of crafts I know the narration is jumping from left to right but you can easily follow along what I'm doing and create your own this is just to inspire you so here as I said uh, I was happy with the building took it outside spray painted in it as I said Here are some, uh, some footage of uh, the finished piece, so I will show you what it, uh, what it looks like, what I did. So as you can see, it's dirtied up from the wash and uh, used some um, bright colors to represent some lights. Then I took some um, of these plastic cables that I still had, I also used them in a uh, other crafts and I super glue them on after painting otherwise it would have been a hassle to uh, paint them again and again I'm going for speed here not beauty so I just wanted to get some colors on to onto the piece and once I have a bunch of them standing about you can see I painted some quick rust effects weathering 
glue down some uh, blue of the corrugated paper to represent some shutters of windows, a plastic drinking straw I still had lying about. Here's a Space Marine for a scale wise. So yeah, you can take cover up here. And to get upstairs on the back of the building, I um, took a plastic tennis racket and cut out something that represents a ladder and then super glued it into position. Glued some uh, warning labels on top of it. <laughs> 